Monday Night Football for NFL Week 2 will feature the Detroit Lions at the New York Giants. The Giants looked inept offensively in Week 1 without the services of Odell Beckham Jr., and that caused Lions to be delayed. The market finally settled with the Giants a three-point favor. It's for this Week 2 matchup. The total opened at 43 and has come down a point as some clarity on Odell Beckham Jr.'s situation approaches. The Lions were a bit of a surprise winner in Week 1. As it turned out, the line move that made the Lions a home underdog was on the wrong side, as Detroit won and moved to 1-0 straight up and against the spread on the season. The New York Giants played well defensively, but that was it in their Week 1 loss to the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday Night Football. Matthew Stafford took the field as the highest paid player in NFL history. He took a beating on social media for throwing an atrocious interception. And yet when the dust settled, his team won the game and he was 29 of 41 for 292 yards with four touchdowns and that one interception. Stafford spread the ball around nicely and kept a very talented Cardinals secondary on its heels. Golden Tate caught 10 balls for 107 yards to put the Lions in some scoring situations. But Kenny Galladay had two touchdown grabs and Marvin Jones and Theo Riddick had the others. Once again, Jim Bob Cooter's rushing attack was ineffective, which could be an issue as the year goes along. But Stafford has been a great fit for the Cooter offense, and it is shown. This will be a pretty good test for the Lions offense, especially for the offensive line against two great pass rushers, Jason Pierre-Paul and Olivier Vernon. The Lions defense forced four turnovers, including three Carson Palmer picks. But we can't be sure if that is more of an indictment on the current state of Palmer. David Johnson was mostly kept in check on his 19 touches before exiting the game, so that was a good job by the linebackers and the defensive linemen. Johnson only had 2.1 yards per carry on 11 tries. 75 of the yards allowed by the Giants came on a garbage time drive, so we should consider that a good performance. This is a good opponent to see if the defensive momentum can continue. The New York Giants were not expected to have a big offensive showing with Odell Beckham Jr. being on the sidelines, but it wasn't supposed to be as bad as it was. New York managed just 233 yards and 4.4 yards per play. The blocking schemes up front were about as bad as the offensive line play. Through it all, Eli Manning completed 29 of 38 passes for 220 yards, but he was sacked three times, threw an interception, and had no time to throw anything downfield. The Giants managed a 7.6 yards per catch, and Shane Vereen, not surprisingly, was the top receiver with nine catches. The absence of a running game had plagued the Giants for the last few years. It makes life very hard on quarterback Eli Manning with a subpar offensive line. It's fair to wonder if the problem is the personnel or the coaching staff. Ben McAdoo was an uninspired hire when Tom Coughlin was gently pushed out of the head coaching role. The Giants had some success with him as an offensive coordinator, but the status quo doesn't work in the NFL. The Giants may be finding that out this year the hard way. Despite losing the turnover margin and playing over 34 minutes, the Giants defense played well against a mostly full-strength Cowboys offense. The Cowboys did have a couple of offensive line concerns, but the skill positions were all intact. Ezekiel Elliott had a workmanlike 100-yard game and the Cowboys had some chunk plays in the passing game, but it was not a bad showing all in all. The Giants will get a much less mobile quarterback this week in Stafford and a much weaker running game. Dallas averaged six yards per play last season, but they were held to five and a half yards per play last week. Everything about this game sets up better for the Giants. Odell Beckham Jr. should be back. They're at home, they're not facing a balanced offense, they are facing a pass defense that struggled a lot last season. The line seems light, given all of that. These two teams probably aren't even a pick on a neutral. Even if you only give the Giants two and a half for home field advantage, this number is still light. This is a good bounce back spot for the Giants against a Lions team that seems to be getting way too much respect for their win over the Cardinals. Our pick and prediction is for the New York Giants at minus three.